Hi guys, so today I'm doing something that has been pretty requested, which is a what's in my purse video. I love these types of videos, so I'm really excited to do it today. I'm starting to build my purse collection, and so I was looking for something that I could wear with pretty much anything. I wanted like a more minimal, chic purse that's a little bit smaller. So the purse that I'm talking about today is this one from Nisolo. I bought this one, and I think that it's just really cool because it's just something that can go with anything very minimal, very chic, it goes with my wardrobe. It comes in a couple colors and I had a really hard time figuring out which color to go with, but I figured the black one's such a classic that I'll have forever and it won't get dingy or anything like that so much. There's a few features that I really like about it. It's got like this magnet enclosure. It's very small, but not like too small. I could fit a book in it if I wanted to. And there's also a little pouch in the back too. There's also a zipper on the inside and I really like the fact that the inside of this is not like this raw leather, it's actually um, like more of the polished leather feel that you have on the outside. So all of those were like really redeeming qualities, plus it's adjustable, which is really important because I'm smaller that it actually doesn't like reach the floor and I can't reach what's in my purse, which has happened before. Another like smaller feature is that these little adjustable brackets here are like a brass, which is just really pretty and a nice touch. So I was actually talking with some of the people from Nisolo today, just chatting about like life stuff. The girl that I know there just got back from Paris, she was traveling abroad, which is just such on my bucket list to do. <laughs> but anyways, I was talking to her about how I'm about to do this video. And she was like, well, let me give you guys a discount. So um, I have a 10% discount for you guys today from them. It's called Dearly 10. And I can link all of the information down below in the description, but it's good for like if you want to get 10% off this bag or they've actually got a sale right now that's going on it's like an end of season sale and a couple of my favorite pairs of shoes are in there so you could get an extra 10% off of that so just really cool I think it goes through Friday but I'll just put all of the official text down below so that was just kind of a cool thing that came out of all this so now let's actually go into what I put in my purse <laughs> So in this small bag, I'm putting in just a few makeup items. One thing that's really cool, I've talked about it before, is this Lila B Lip Cheek Duo. I just think it's so beautiful. I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks and my lips. I'll get into more lip stuff in a second. It's just got like a really nice, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> um, it's just got a really nice color to it. And it's just in the shape of this cute little river rock and it's like a ceramic, it's not like a plastic or anything. And I've dropped it before, hasn't broken. So I've just been really happy to always have something like this. Something like this is really good too. It, I think it's more forgiving on my skin than even like a concealer if I just have to bring one thing with me. This is definitely it. So for lips, I do like to layer more than one lip color at a time. And so if I really wanna look spiffy, I'll wear like a red lip with the color that I have underneath. That just gives me a little bit more of a flush of color. I feel a little bit like tired looking if I don't wear like a little bit of a brighter lip, but that's probably just like my perception. Recent discovery has been this Burt's Bees lip balm that is actually ultra conditioning. It's in this like silver cap and it's with cocum butter. Don't know what that is, <laughs> but it's 100% natural and it's four hour moisturization. So I've been using this for the past couple days and I've just been really impressed with it. I've used the Burt's Bees chapstick before and it always just kind of felt more like beeswax and didn't really help me with my dry lips and stuff. But this one has been super moisturizing and it kind of looks like a lip gloss, just like a hint of lip gloss. So I'm just very happy with this so far. I actually asked you guys on Instagram for like, what's in your purse? Like, let me talk about it, let me mention it. And I would say out of all of the comments, lip balm has been the number one thing people said they have in their purse and I don't blame you because I'm right there with you. <laughs> so on to perfume, I always carry a little perfume with me in my bag. So this one has the coolest case. It's from the Labo and I just love all of their perfumes. This one is in Rose 31. It's a solid, it's refillable so you can use this little thing like for years. But it's like this little Swiss Army Thing. But it's great because it's like sturdy in your hand. You're not going to drop it or anything and it just feels really cool when I use it. So I use the uh, perfume that is Rose 31. It's my favorite out of all of the samples I've gotten from the Labo. I've gotten it in a detergent, like I'm obsessed 
with Rose 31. Yeah, like this is really good too if you just wanna give a gift to someone. They have very like unisex scents that are kind of spicy. They're just so amazing. I love to carry a little perfume with me and having it in a solid means as long as my purse doesn't overheat or anything, I'm going to have like not a mess in my purse, whereas like a perfume bottle might break. If you are daring though, you can use a perfume oil. I love to use these things like right after a movie theater, like after a movie or something like that. I went to a premiere and this was really fun to keep in my purse. I just wanted to smell like more fresh like after the movie, so I dabbed some of this on. Um, this is Maison Louis Marie number no. four Bois de Balancourt, which has the most amazing smell. It's like all of the scents that I love into one scent. And this one was sold out for a long time, like a year. So just a lot of people love this scent. I did get quite a few other samples from Maison Louis Marie just to try out. And this one, number 11, which I will butcher the name of, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs> I probably already have with others. I like to wear this scent when I work. It's just kind of weird. I like to have one scent for while I do something and then when I smell that, I'm like, oh, I should be working right now. <laughs> it's kind of a life hack. So at any point, I'll be wearing one of those three perfumes and I will keep it in my purse, just one of them at a time. But at any point, I'll be carrying one of them. Next is a nail file. I'm really good at like trying to take care of my nails, make sure that my nail polish is on real good. But sometimes I might have like a little snag or something through the day and it just drive me bonkers. So having a nail file on file is really great. Another really handy aromatherapy technique is to have these little essential oil roll-ons. So this one's in frankincense and I actually bought this when I was having like a little bit of like an ear infection and my lymph nodes were kind of swollen and stuff. So I would use this on it like around my ear and on my lymph nodes and on my neck and it actually helped a lot in my opinion. But the uses of this like frankincense is not only good just as aromatherapy and like stress and anxiety relief, but it's also supposed to boost immunity and it also is supposed to like calm inflammation and pain. So I like to have this on hand and just to carry it in my purse is really helpful. So next is sunglasses. I've been really good about having sunglasses on outside, mostly like even if it's cloudy, I'll put my sunglasses on just to help me from like squinting and to have protect my eyes, of course, and to look great. <laughs> so this pair is from Lispex and it's more of like a trendy shape right now. I also have a very classic pair of sunglasses from Ray-Bans that's more of a round shape, but these ones are really great for like, if I just wanna look a little bit fancier. <laughs> because my purse is smaller, I downsized the case that I put it in and I just get one of these little cloth ones so that it doesn't get scratched up or anything. So next, of course, is my phone. I love this phone so much. It's the iPhone 10 and it's like, I forget the color, but it's the silver white one. Yeah, this one, I've been such a fan of this and it's been great to have the extra storage too on my phone. That's been such a lifesaver. I do try to always remember to bring my phone charger. A lot of people have really spiffy cases for their phone chargers, but I like to just wrap mine up in this particular way. I've learned it online. So you throw up your rock hand <laughs> and then you just twist this until you get about halfway. So I'm just like, twisting it in between each finger and then you actually take this extra cord slip your finger out of that and then wrap it around like that and then just this end piece I like to tuck in at the end so it stays secure and that's how I carry my phone charger next is airpods I love these things I'm a big geek about them again it uses the same exact phone charger so that's just one more way that my life is in order Next, if I have room in my purse, I always try to bring my film camera. This one is the Olympus Stylus Epic. So a couple things I love about this one. One is that it won't take photos in my purse because it's got this little open and close feature which just makes the camera turn off if it's closed in my purse. So that's really great because that would really suck to get all of my film pictures back and they were just, you know, black. They didn't turn out. Also, what's really great about this is that it takes what is supposed to be like the best point and shoot film photos out there. So I've been really happy with this as I've gone on trips. It's great, you know, if you haven't seen somebody in a while and you're just like running errands and you know, you can take a selfie or ask someone else to take a photo of you guys in a very classic way that you're going to keep for a long time. 
or just like have a candid photo of your lunch that day while you're with a friend or something like that. Makes your days more special and memorable that way. Okay, I have loved this little tiny mini pouch for a few months now. It's from Nasolo and I actually think that it's the perfect size for like a change purse, but what I like to do is I keep this little business card holder in the pouch so that all of my cards are together and I can just pop this out. It's actually got a reflection here, so it helps me to like use it as a mirror. So I always have a mirror on hand. And then, you know, I just keep like my Kroger cards and whatever else in there. So in here, I'll keep a little bit of change. I also have like these little pressed pennies from Disney World that I love. This one's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Any other change that I have in here, I always find a reason to keep some on hand. So also if I can fit it or I really need it that day, I'll bring this little lint roller with me. I love that it's something I can just re have retractable and buy refills for, but I usually just keep this in my tote or a bigger bag. Okay, another little cute gadget for these hot summer days is this little fan. It plugs into my phone and it costs about like five bucks. <laughs> but it's just so much fun. And uh, this is a really great present too. If you're looking to buy someone like a really small gift or part of a gift, this is really fun. Next, I love to have my own pen with me because anytime I'm signing for something that I'm buying, I don't wanna use someone else's pen because especially like when it's like flu season, I just do not feel good about that. So this is kind of helpful for me to have on hand. It's a really cute pen. I'll try to find it online for you guys, but it's been fun to have in my purse too. Next is a Band-Aid because you never know when your heels are going to really start hurting from your shoes or when someone else needs a Band-Aid. So it's nice to just have something like that on hand. Doesn't take up like any space. Okay, next, I love to have some mints on hand and these little Altoid Smalls are so much fun. And I love the flavor of these. I've always loved Altoids, but they come in like these little minis too, which is just really nice. So it's perfect for like throwing in your bag. So next you guys might know what's going on in my life right now, but um, I love to carry on a little bit of chocolate with me. And this chocolate bar is like my favorite. It's great for like really tough moments in life or when you're a little bit extra hungry or like every four weeks or so. The endangered species chocolate bar is like my favorite. So I can eat like half the bar and it's only five grams of sugar. That's actually 88% um, cocoa, which is pretty dark, but I really appreciate having like a rich dark flavor to chocolate. So another cool thing about this chocolate bar is that 10% of the profits are donated to nonprofit partners that protect and preserve the wildlife. Plus it's yummy. So a storm just rolled in, so sorry about like the lighting changes that might be happening right now. Um, but I did wanna talk about the other things that people said on my Instagram post on great ideas to keep in your purse. So things people keep in their purse, a book, hand sanitizer, a water bottle, super important, um, a hair tie, blotting papers. Some people said sunblock, few people actually, um, and that's really good too. Glasses. I always bring glasses with me when I'm going to a movie theater because if we sit like too far back, I just can't see anything. <laughs> a notebook, some hand lotion, and a couple like reusable things like a reusable straw and a reusable shopping bag. So those are really good ideas. And hair clip. So yeah, I hope this was really helpful. Like if you're trying to think about everything that you could possibly bring with you that day to like make your life easier. I just love that type of stuff. I hope that this video was fun and that you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.